YouTube. What's good, YouTube? What is good? What's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My smell good family. What's happening, man? I hope y'all are doing well, doing awesome, doing great. Y'all know how we give it up on this channel. Positive vibes only. All right. So hopefully everyone, not only yourself, but your family, your loved ones, hopefully everyone is doing well. All right. So we are back with the weekly wares. All right. Another week in the books. Um, I really enjoy these videos and apparently you guys do too as well. So, um, you know, this is, um, this was a blue kind of week. <laughs> this is a blue kind of week. I got mostly blue fragrances on, uh, on display for today, but, uh, I'm looking forward to kind of breaking down, you know, what went behind the mindset of wearing those set fragrances. All right. So appreciate you guys watching and, uh, let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right. So on Sunday, on Sunday, on the 24th, July 24th, we wrapped up my work weekend. I had to work last weekend and, um, I took it to something that I hadn't worn in probably over a year, over a year. And I had been wanting to wear it. And I just, you know, went for it right out to shoot to kick off the blue week. We went with from the house of Sabotar Ferragamo. We went with Womo Urban Feel. Womo Urban Feel. Love that bottle. All right. So uh, this one here um, is a unique uh, blue fragrance. It has the note of coffee in it. Uh, you got some bergamot uh, in here as well. Um, it's creamy with a little sandalwoody. Well, sandalwood, it brings that creaminess to it. It's a unique style of fragrance. You do get that coffee and that citrus up top. Then it kind of dwindles out into, you know, more of a woodsy, um, uh, citrusy uh, DNA all the way through. All right. But it is, it is very, very good. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed this fragrance because I haven't worn it much. So it was good to get something back in rotation that I hadn't worn in a minute. Uh, and I did get a compliment at work with this one for sure. So um, that's always good when you can get a compliment. But uh, you can get this for very cheap. You can get this for $30, $35 on discounters. But it is one to have to bring a unique edge to a uh, summer scent, so to speak. So on Sunday during the day from the house of Savitar Ferragamo, we went with Womo's Urban Field. Urban Field. All right. Next up, we got home and usually, like usually on Sundays, I call home, take a hot shower, um, pour me some wine or grab me a beer, Modelo specifically, and um, I plop down on the couch. Plop down on the couch, find something to watch, and I have a fragrance to kind of help wind me down from the long week, all right? So on Sunday evening, fresh out the shower, we went with from the house of Tommy Hilfiger, the Tommy Summer Line. We went with Ocean Wave. Ocean Wave, all right? Now this one here uh, is good. You get a lot of melons in here. You do get that Tommy DNA's that's just kind of floating around, but you get some apples, some melons, some tonka bean, and some woods. That's basically what you get in this fragrance. The melon comes off right away, and then it kind of, it, it doesn't necessarily turn powdery, but it has a powdery nature to it. And of course, some woods that's kind of uh, wrapping itself around that powderiness towards the uh, dry down in the fragrance. But it is enjoyable. It's definitely in a, a, a different style of aquatic uh, style fragrance, but uh, just chilling and refreshing, just chilling with this refreshing scent around the house on Sunday, Sunday evening. It was cool. I enjoyed it, man. I think I watched something on Netflix. I can't remember, but uh, this is my fragrance of choice on Sunday evening from the house of Tommy uh, Hilfiger, the Tommy Summer line. We went with Ocean Wave. Ocean Wave. All right, moving along into Monday. I had an off day, and mostly when I'm off during those mornings, I go ahead and get up and go to the gym, and I'm really enjoying this fragrance. I'm going to do a review on it shortly, um, but this stuff is really good, especially for the price that you pay from the house of Davidoff from the Cool Water line. We got Grapefruit and Sage. Grapefruit and Sage. This was just a pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprise this stuff is fantastic what you get you get grapefruit you get sage uh and this kind of fresh spiciness that is wrapped wrapped up in it uh it is it is a very refreshing uh pleasant uh type of scent i wish this was like an edp or something like that and it could last a little bit longer but i wore it to the gym and i wanted to see if with my body temperature heating up and being outside that early in the day could i get a different uh you know, a different take or a different vibe from just wearing it just around the house or around errands, and I did. So my body temperature and the sun uh, really got a hold of this thing, heated it up, and um, it just performed 
better than I expected it to. I did get a compliment by the young lady at the pro shop counter when I was checking in and uh, you know, she let me know that I smell good. So this one right here has been one of my favorite cheapy pickups so far this year. Probably one of my favorite pickups overall this year so far. Really, really good stuff for Monday morning. From the house of Davidoff, the cool water line, we went with grapefruit and sage. Grapefruit and sage, all right? All right, coming home Monday afternoon. I had to come home, shower, run right back out. And this time of year in Florida, it is scorching hot. And fragrances like this are just uh, a godsend from the house of Hugo Boss. We went with Hugo Boss, reversed. Reversed, all right? So you get this grapefruit and vetiver combination here. It smells so good, uplifting, refreshing uh, style fragrance. Just smells really, really good quality. I got mine from a discounter. I paid 30 bucks for a 4.2 ounce bottle. Uh, I have a backup of this as well because in the summertime, this is just one of those grab and go fragrances for me. If I'm running errands and I gotta run back out the house and I need something to uh, you know, spray on, that smells good and I don't have to think about it. This is one of those fragrances for me for sure. And, um, and it did exactly that for the rest of the day on my Monday. So from the house of Hugo Boss on Monday afternoon, Monday evening, we went with Hugo Boss Reverse. Reverse. Good juice here. Good juice. All right, on Tuesday, on Tuesday morning, we return back to the office. And this has been another fragrance that has just kind of, uh, I guess, had its way with me since I, uh, I received it back on Father's Day, I believe, from the house of Valentino. We have Valentino's Born in Roma, Coral Fantasy. All right, Born in Roma. Coral Fantasy. Really enjoyed this fragrance for that apple that you can just smell it coming right off the atomizer. That apple, that tobacco, um, just a really nice scent. Um, to me, this is probably the, uh, this fragrance is probably the most unique from the line um, and from what I've experienced. And it's really that tobacco-y red apple combination that is just clashing mightily uh, Throughout the duration of this fragrance, towards the dry down, you get more of the tobacco than you get the red apple. Um, but all in all, this is a very nice scent. Um, it is good for the office for sure. Um, I wouldn't say this is a blind buy safe. You probably wanna get your nose on this because it's not like you get red apple in fragrances every day, all right? So mixing it with a tobacco uh, note, mm, it might present a challenge for some people who are not willing to go through that challenge. So definitely check this out before you purchase it. But for me, it worked well, well for me, definitely at the office on Tuesday. On Tuesday, once again, from the house of Valentino, we went with the Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, Beautiful, beautiful fragrance to me, man. I really enjoyed this stuff, all right? Then coming out on Wednesday, more blue fragrances. So this is the third blue fragrance, and we're only on Wednesday, and we got a couple more to go, all right? So on a Wednesday, this is probably old favorite to a lot of people, and um, I've had this one for quite some time. Got like a half a bottle in here from the house of Versace, man. We went with Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue. What more can you say about this versatile, Beautiful summertime classic, all right? And it's more than the summertime. You could do a lot with this. Probably a three season fragrance. Spring, no, all year round probably because that fresh spiciness that this adds in here is really good. But not gonna spend too much more time on it. Y'all know what this is. It is a classic, great for the office, great for every day, whatever. Uh, one of the versatile best in the game. And uh, it just provided that for me um, on Wednesday uh, in the office. Just say just an overall, just don't have to worry about scent and uh and it paid dividends shower jelly uh fresh spicy uh just different accords that this thing has and um it's just one of the best so on wednesday from the house of versace man we went with good old dylan blue dylan blue probably the next probably when this i'm halfway through it so probably when i get down to the bottle i think i'm gonna get a 200 ml on my next bottle so I don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, um, next up, Thursday, surprise of the week. No, 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 it's not. two. I had two surprises this week, but this was the first one, obviously, on Thursday. I forgot I had this fragrance. I was reminded of it, watching a review on YouTube. Came back to me, I grabbed it and wore it the next morning, man, and I'll get into the story in a second, but from the house of Polo on Thursday, we went with uh, Polo Blue Gold Blend gold blend i forgot i had this fragrance and i acquired this fragrance 
Towards the end of last year, Macy's had this wild sale on polo fragrances. Polo Deep Blue Parfum, Gold Blend, I believe the Polo Blue EDP was involved. And it was, yeah, just a polo sale on Macy's. And I got this for like 30 cash. Then I later found out that this was being discontinued, but I, you know, I smelled it initially and I put it up, but then I got reminded, and boy, is this just not a, this is a, excuse me, this is a great gem for me, for what I'm gonna be wearing to the office. You get this fresh spiciness with this apple, this melon, uh, you get a green component in here as well, some woods in here. This stuff is fantastic. I overly enjoyed it. And the one thing that surprised me the most is its durability. This thing is at least a eight to nine hour performer. And that's saying something for a polo line. I definitely got eight to nine hours performance. It projected a, a good two hours. I got compliments. Probably my first three hours of my work day, I got compliments for wearing this. And I was just surprised overall. And I enjoyed those experiences when I'm just surprised at what a fragrance has to offer, especially when I didn't see it coming. And that's what this fragrance was for sure, man. So on Thursday, if y'all can find this, grab it, man. Especially for all those who, you know, work in the office setting, this would be something that you definitely would probably want to add to your, uh, you know, repertoire, so to speak, of your office style fragrances, all right? So on Thursday, from the House of Polo, the Polo Blue line, we went with Polo Blue Gold Blend. Gold blend. Surprise the hell out of me <laughs> with this one uh, for sure. All right, moving along to Friday. My work week was over and we was going into the weekend. Y'all know how I get down. Friday, got up, barbershop time, run some errands time Friday morning. And to start the day, y'all know what's up, man. At least once a week, I got to wear this DNA from the house of our moth from the club day in the wheat line. We went with Intense Man, the EDT. The EDT. What this is just what when I wake up in the morning, my I just go straight to it. Friday mornings, I just go straight to it. Some style, I just go straight to it. This has just kind of been my Friday morning barbershop fragrance. All right, so um, y'all know what's in here, man. Just that Aventus classic style DNA. Y'all know how much I love it. I have several variations of the DNA, including the real Aventus. Um, but it, at this point, it just doesn't matter. I just want to smell the DNA and, and get a chance to spend some time with it weekly. And that's what I did on Friday for the first half of my day. We went with our moths from the Club Dina Wheat line. We went with Intense Man, the EDT. The EDT. Classic stuff here, man. You don't pay that much. You pay 30 bucks or less for the for a full, I think this is a 3.4 ounce bottle or whatever. And it's fantastic, fantastic. All right, so on Friday afternoon, Friday evening, my second surprise of the day, we got a Middle Eastern banger right here, and I'm still shocked at what this thing produced from the house of Rihanna. Rihanna, we have Basa Al Ri. Basa Al Ri. Man, huge fan of pineapple. Huge fan, but what you get with this is a pineapple cocktail, all right? Now I have three or four different variations of pineapple fragrances, including uh, the Inventus's, but this right here is different. You get a vanilla uh, and a uh, musky and sandalwood component with this, but in the opening, you just get a straight pineapple cocktail. Like that's exactly what you get, and it is fan. Fantastic. It is a great performer, eight to nine hours on my skin. Perfect for this time of year. I wore it out during the day on Friday, went to my local Dillard's, and um, just was just getting wafts of it all day long. Just walking and just riding in my car. It was just creating a nice bubble around me, and I really enjoyed this stuff. But look forward to spending more time with it. This is a Middle Eastern banger. Got it off Amazon. I think I got it for around that $30 mark. Very hard to find. Shout out to my guy Jeremy over at the House of Colossus. He briefly touched on it and just his brief description got me looking into it and I went ahead and made the purchase and I'm glad that I did. So on Friday afternoon, Friday evening, man, this thing really surprised me. Just like most of my Middle Eastern purchases have done, we went with uh, from Rihanna, the House of Rihanna, not Rihanna, Rihanna. We went with Basat al Ri. Basat al Ri. Nice bottle too, man. You get this nice four point ounce bottle, I believe. Four point ounce bottle, hefty glass, good stuff. Review coming soon for sure. 
All right, so into wrap up the week, going into Saturday. Saturday morning, got up once again, went to the gym, and just had to get a reminder just how good this is. Even though this is a you know a direct inspiration from a Titan, one of my favorites of all time, um, but their version is good too. From the house of Al Harmain, uh, the Amber Oud line. We went with the Blue Edition. Blue Edition. Blue Edition. Now this, of course, is a direct inspiration from Blue to Chanel's. Excuse me, from Chanel's Blue to Chanel EDT. Blue to Chanel EDT. They did their thing with this one. This smells really good. I go back and forth which one I prefer, believe it or not, because this one is that good. Normally I go back and I just lean heavily on the EDT from Chanel, but to get a different take from another line is always good in my opinion. You get another perspective of that DNA and that's where clones come into play. And I enjoy a good clone, especially if, if it's done in a way where, man, I can really see this sort of original scent through this line, even though they didn't create it. And that's what this one is right here on Saturday to the gym. Got a couple compliment at the pro shop table once again. From the house of Hal Hermain, we went to Amber Oud, the blue edition. There's no Oud in here. There's no Oud in this fragrance, all right, no Oud. And to wrap up the week, Saturday afternoon, I really chilled this past Saturday, man. Kind of rode around a little bit, you know, went and hollered at my homeboy, man, and um, came back to the crib. And uh, we went with one that's perfect for this time of year. Uh, it is another clone I have in hand from the house of Armand. We went with Trey Nui Pour Homme. Trey Nui Pour Homme Nui. And this is a direct um, inspiration, 1A, 1B, two creeds, green Irish tweed, okay? But this one right here, you get a little bit more of a powdery take in this thing, especially towards the dry down. But you got your lemon verbena, you got your iris, you just got your green, grassy, uh, outside vibe style fragrance uh, with this stuff right here. And it is good. You can pay 20 bucks for this, or you can pay 450 for Creed. That's up to you. But this one right here is close enough for me where I don't need to buy a full bottle of Green Irish Tweed. I do have samples of it, but uh, I don't need a full bottle due to what this provides, man. So this stuff is really good, and it did well for me on Saturday afternoon. All right, so from the house of our mom, one more time, we went with uh, Trey Nui. Trey Nui. All right, man, so that's gonna wrap up this week's Weekly Wears video, the uh, all fragrances that I had in my rotation. You know, I go to the office, my off days, and my gym fragrances, combine them all in one and let you guys know what the play is. So, do you guys have any of these fragrances? Uh, let me know what you wore down below uh, in the comments. I would love to chop it up with y'all about what y'all wore, anything that y'all wanna talk about, uh, about what I wore uh, this past week, all right? So, um, until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, and take care of yourselves. We're on our way to 2K. When we get to 2K, man, we're going to be doing a giveaway for sure, man. So, as always, appreciate the love, the support. Just thank y'all, man. Just y'all don't know, you know, how much it means to me for sure. I'm a smell good family. Uh, just thank y'all for sure. All right. So, until next time, man. Hey, look. Keep smelling good, bro. We, we doing well. We doing well. Keep smelling good. All right, y'all.